Today's video is made possible by Squarespace. Good morning, sunshines. Dang now, but it's good to see you here on the channel. So what's going on here on Tech of Tomorrow? Well, it is launch day of the new NVIDIA GTX 750 Ti. That's right. Now this card that we have is a two gigabyte model going to be hitting the market at about $149. There is a version underneath it. It's a one gigabyte version. It will be $139. There's also another card that's being released in the market today. That is the 750. We do not have that one in house. We have the 750 Ti in the house. So with that said, let's jump in. Let's see what this card is all about. Now, before we actually jump in and talk about all the specs and the testing and all that good stuff, let's talk about the cards we're testing them against and take a look at them. Now, we haven't got the 265 from AMD. For some reason, those folks don't show us a lot of love. And if you want them to show us love, go over and Twitter them, twerk them, go onto their homepage, send them a message and say, hey, give Tech of Tomorrow some love. But we do have to have the 260X and we also have the GTX 650 Ti. Now, I got all these cards behind me. This is the new card right here. Now, this thing's very, very small. Five and three quarter inches by four inches by one and a half inches. We'll have that all translated into metrics as well for you guys. But this is pretty much the smallest mid-level gaming card I've ever seen. Like I said, this thing's gonna be priced at 149 for the two gigabyte version that I've got right here in my hand, but it's very small. Now to the next card. This is the PNY 650 Ti. Now you guys can see these are both two slot design cards. Although the PNY card is a little bit thicker. It's about two inches. This one's one and a half inch. And you can see it's also a bit longer. This card's about six and a half inches long, while this one's five and three quarters. The RIOs you guys can see are pretty similar, quite a bit the same. So let's move on now. Let's take a look at the AMD competition. Next up, the XFX R7260X. Now this one is a little bit cheaper, but it's pretty comparable as far as the numbers go. Now you guys can see this bad boy is quite a bit larger. Once again, two slot design. As far as the width goes, this is once again to be about two inches, but as far as length go, check it out. This card's a little bit over seven inches, five and three quarter inches, much, much heavier card as well. Rear IOs are, you know, they're pretty similar. You get a little bit more though on this AMD card, as you guys can see, they have a little bit more options on that card. Now let's move forward. Let's talk about some of the specs and then jump in and see the testing. Maxwell has improved the utilization of their cores by changing the architecture behind their SM and its control logic technology. In the previous Kepler design, the SM contained a single control logic that had to handle 192 cores simultaneously. But now NVIDIA has split that single core into four cores that now handle 32 cores apiece. So what that really boils down to folks is that the power slash performance ratio is now four times better than previous generation chipsets. Now this thing has a TDP of 60 watts. Pretty incredible, right? All the power is coming right through the PCI lane. So you're not gonna have to plug it in whatsoever. Also the power requirements are about 300 watts of power supply. That's what they're saying is like your minimum that you want to go to. Something smaller might work, but hey, to be safe, you probably want to follow around what they're recommending for you. All right, so here are the specs for the Maxwell GM107. The card has 640 CUDA cores, 40 texture units, and 16 ROPs. The core clock is at 1020 megahertz, and the Boost 2.0 is at 1085 megahertz. Now the card we have is the two gigabyte GDR5 model clocked at 5400 megahertz. It also features two 64-bit memory controllers for a total of 128-bit memory interface. The total memory bound of the card is 86.4 gigabytes. The card is also made in the current 28 nanometer process. So those are the tech specs, folks. And with that said, let's rock out to the benchmark song.
What? All right, you're back. So that's it, folks. And by the way, if you guys like that song, it's called The Human Zoo. And you guys can actually listen to this music for free over at www.techoftomorrowmusic.com, which we actually made using Squarespace. And you guys can try Squarespace yourself for free if you'd like to. It's something very interesting. If you're looking for something that's very quick, easy, and efficient, just make a quick website and get up and going, Squarespace is something that you guys are going to want to check out. Now, one thing that's really cool about this, though, is its GUI interface. It has all the drag and drop menus you want to use, all the type of plugins you need to get your website up and going. And one thing that's also ultimately cool is you guys can actually save yourself 10% and get a free trial membership by entering the code TOT2 at checkout. So that's really incredible stuff. You guys can save money, check out what it's like to have your own website. And if you like it, you can stick. And if you don't, you can dump it to the side of the road. But actually Squarespace is really cool and it's really intuitive for those who are brand new to creating websites. So all right, folks, you guys have seen all the tech specs. You guys have seen how it runs. Now you guys can see that it does run a little bit hotter than the 650 Ti card. Well, you know, this thing has a very, very, very tiny fan on it. I was actually joking around about it because the fan on it actually reminds me of like a very old school CPU fans. How many of my old tech friends out there know what I'm talking about? Like back in the old AMD things, this was like an AMD CPU fan. Believe it or not, they were about the exact same size and looked about the same size as that. Pretty interesting stuff. And now this is actually cooling the card. But for a card that's so small, I got to say, the 750 Ti is going to be a pretty damn good thing because picture this. It's faster than the card that we tested. Now, when we get a hold of the 265, which you guys know to go bug AMD and let them know we need that card, we'll bring more tests to the tables. Or if it becomes for sale, we'll grab that sucker either way. But for right now, this card is doing very, very well at the price point that it's set for. It's set as a mid-level card. It's priced at about $150. All the other vendors will be jumping on board, so you're going to see the cooling by Gigabyte and all the other people out there making their cards. ASUS, MSI, don't want to forget anybody. You know, you guys are all going to make your own cards based off of this. So with that said, I'm Elric. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys like it, the like button's down there. And beyond that, down below is the description of all the information if you'd like to purchase one of these cards or just check out more information about this. Also, over on our website, I will have a full written view on this over at www.techandtomorrow.com. So I'll see you guys over there. Take it easy. We'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow for more tech later. See ya.